Welcome to day six of the seven day photography challenge. Now, I've been using this throughout the week and there's no um, reason why I shouldn't use it again today. But I want to do today's challenge as um, motion, specifically cars. And, and guess what? There's something happening at Lydon Hill today. I forget what it is, but I'll put a quick thing on the screen for you. But it's individual time trials. And so anyone who's got any kind of car, and that looks like a Formula 3 racing car. So anyone with a car, and I've seen some Peugeots, I've seen some Audis, they, they just come out and do time trials. <laughs> so I was thinking at home last night, as I was editing last night's video, that what shall I do tomorrow? Let's do motion. And I was just going to park up near a roundabout somewhere, you know, just pan and take pictures of cars. But we're here, and it's good. Now, <laughs> can you be quiet? I'm busy talking to camera. <laughs> I always use this, my DSLR shutter priority, 60th of a second. So the video challenge isn't about just using the Sony Cybershot, although I think I'm going to give it a go and see if I get any good pictures with it, because I can do some video footage as well, can't I? But for the most part, I think I'm just, you know, yeah, let, let's park this. We've been using this one all week, so should we continue to do so? Let's just see what happens. The idea is to pan with the subject, capture it and freeze it, but have the background in, in blur. This may be a fail. I'm going to get the big camera out. Give me a second. I'm more comfortable with the big camera, and it's not about a challenge for the um, cyber shot, is it? It's just a daily photography challenge, and I do photography with my DSLR. So I'm going in 60th of a second. Auto ISO. I just want to get some nice cars in motion. Nice Lotus. Zoomed in too much. That wasn't very good. What is this, a Porsche? Nope. Another Lotus. Very nice. I'll give you a little bit of movie footage. We've got classic cars. So let's get a couple of movie images. Oh, I missed them. They're going in. Maybe they're coming back out. Looks like a Jensen. Was it a TVR? I'm going to go down to the devil's elbow. We'll get a couple of the shots coming in close range, I think. I'll use the Sony if I have to, to cap some, capture some movie shots. Remind me, I've put it here, <laughs> otherwise I'll forget. But we've got some, um, there's a Mini. I saw an old Aston Martin, it was lovely. MGB coming. MGB. I did say I was going to go into town, but I might just stay here and take shots of this. It's capturing it in motion. Very nice. Motion. That's the theme of today. It's capturing shots of cars as they are zooming past me. I'm panning with them and I've got it on one sixtieth of a second. Nice looking mini. <laughs> Glimping, is that what they call it? Got my 140 lens. You know, I, should I try it? 
don't think there's any more cars coming out. Right, while we wait for some other cars, I'm going to set this up and see if I can get some good action stuff with it zooming in. <laughs> Might get the bonnets or the wheels, just the wheels, that kind of stuff. Right, back with you shortly. Back with you. <laughs> They're queuing up just now, which gives me an opportunity to just explain that I've just checked the battery on the Sony and it's like on one bar. So... I do have a spare one in my pocket, bearing in mind that yesterday I'd forgotten to put the SD card in it, so I'm doing all the photography shooting. To be fair, the shots coming out of the DJI at 12 megapixel only needed a bit of tweaking in the um, post-production. Anyway, I said I might go into town. I was thinking I might sit around a roundabout and watch the cars coming by, or into town and the buses. What I had in mind was that I might see the odd person on a bicycle. But to be quite honest, this is just as exciting. In fact, this is more exciting than watching a bus go by. <laughs> Unless you're into buses, you know. Good for you. Whoa, these, these lads are... Oh, wheel lifted. And I missed it. Did you see that? So I'm actually going to just complete the video by taking a number of shots here using the SLR at 1 60th of a second with auto ISO. See if I can get the wheels lifting. All right, I'm going to change the auto exposure, uh, the exposure compensation, drop it down to minus 0.7 because it's overexposing. That's better. And what I'll do, uh, I'm probably doing it anyway, display the perfect shot of my continuous shoot. On the screen as I take the pictures. <laughs> Seven day photo challenge, just getting out with your camera. Doesn't matter where you're going, down to the seaside, into the woods to take some macro photography of mushrooms, if that's your bag. Motorsport. I think I might even put the metadata on for you so that you can see what auto exposure the auto ISO sets, because it's going to set the. Um, I've got it on auto ISO, 60th of a second. It's, I think I said it in one of my early videos like learning to swim or ride a bike. Once you've got it in your head that the settings you need for a particular genre, and in this case, motorsport, then you just always remember. MGTF, is it? Or MGF? MGFT, TF, something like that. I think they only let three out at a time and they do two laps and they have to get the best time. It's just a normal road car. You know, like bringing out your GTI. Put a couple of stickers on it. Right, this MX-5, it's rather nice looking. This is fun, getting out with your camera, right? I'm probably going to edit all of that out, but... <laughs> so the MX-5's gone in. Whoa. The things you see when you haven't got your camera. Oh, wait a minute, I have got my camera. And I... <laughs> he locked the back wheel up and I missed it. Later generation MX-5. When I see the historics on the hill, they don't thrash their cars like these boys are doing. <laughs> what shall I do for day seven? Sunday tomorrow. Should I get up early and do a sunrise? It's <laughs> such a different... Oh gosh, a Fiat Punto. <laughs> Got another MG coming out. But the modern ones, the MGTFs, MGFT, I'll put it on the screen. You know what I'm talking about if you're into MGs. I 
can see I'm going to have a bit of editing to do. Choosing my choice car. He's got a crash helmet, but he's got a cabriolet. I think if he went over, he would break his neck. I don't think the crash helmet's going to help, do you? <laughs> oh, a nice blue MX-5. That's nice. Is that a Mini Marcos? Do you remember those cars from the 60s? We'll get a shot of it in a minute. I mean, I say, do you remember it from the 60s? I was born in 63, so it's not like I would have remembered them, would I? <laughs> I think it is, you know. Bit of skiddage. <laughs> nice mini. I love the whistle those things make when they've got the souped up. Is that like a, um, what do you call it, a turbocharger or something? See, I'm not really up into the cars, I just know that they make nice sounds. <laughs> Ford Fiesta. Ford Fiesta's done two laps. RX-7. I wonder if they've replaced the engine in that, or is it still a wankle engine? <laughs> Ooh, uh, misses. Lovely. Are you seeing the cars? I hope you're seeing the cars. I've set the camera up in such a way that I'm hoping it gives you a bird's eye view of me taking pictures because it's the photography challenge, but also seeing the cars come around. Look at this Mark II Golf. Very nice. Oh, he throws the back wheel up and I got it. <laughs> Everything else was moving, but the back wheel was rigid, static, almost. Is that a word? Mm. I'm, I'm looking at these. They're obviously souped up in some way because they're not proper racing cars. They're supposed to be street. I <laughs> got the back wheel locked again. Lovely. One sixtieth of a second. I'm going to try something. I'm just going to push it up to one hundredth of a second just to see if I get still get the blurred background because that's what I'm trying to achieve here the motion the Fiat 500 probably not going fast enough <laughs> the, uh, a hundredth of a second it will freeze the background as well well I'll tell you what a hundredth of a second works as well and I wonder if that gives me a sharper image. It might well do because the shutter is quicker that you get less motion on the actual subject. But the background makes me think, should I try a 200th of a second? It's all experimentation. Honda. Oh, I tell you what, I might be onto something here. I'm gonna try a 200th of a second on the next one that comes by and just see how sharp it is and if I get a blurred background. There's a nice MGB coming out as well. So we're, we're trying 200th of a second. We'll see what it makes in terms of the sharpness of the subject, the car, and how blurred the background will be. Let's have a look at the MG at 200th of a second. Yeah, it makes the wheels static. Background's blurred, but it makes the wheels 125th of a second for the Clio. Oh, that's good. 125th and I've got a blurred background. Let's try 160th. <laughs> I keep changing it, but that's part of the photography adventure, is that you just experiment and see if um, what, what, what works. I was going to say what, what, what boot fits. Oh, he's got his indicators on. 
<laughs> kind of okay, but the wheels are black anyway, so I couldn't tell. Let's try it again with the MG. If I can get one good shot at 1 60th of a second and the wheels are showing as being in motion. So I think they get three shots at this. Now at 1 60th and the wheels are static. 100. I think I might have changed my mind. 1 60th of a second is fine, but 100th and I get more of the car sharp. So there you go. A lunatic in his Fiesta with his hazard lights on. I'll tell you what, I think we'll call it quits there. End of photography challenge day number six. Motion, that's what I was aiming for. I think I got a bit of that. So um, let me have a think about what we'll do tomorrow and I'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching and bearing with. Bye for now.